As we head into the unofficial start of summer, there's a warning from Consumer Reports about sunscreen because not all of them offer what they promise. Eight on your side's Candace McCowan shows you how to protect yourself and your family. What the, what the Consumer Reports did, they studied many, many sunscreens over the past few years. For years, many of us have been taking the SPF protection promised on the front of sunscreen bottles as fact. But this year, Consumer Reports did their own independent study. And what they found out is when you put a sunscreen on and you sit in water, that's how the test was, so let's remember that, and you sit in water for a period of time, then you test the efficacy. Many of them came in less than what was reported on the sunscreen bottle. And the caveat is that these were sunscreens that were listed as water resistant. Dr. Neil Finsky is the director of USF Medical School's dermatology department. The study revealed it's not just water that you need to be concerned about. So what surprised me, however, is that the mineral sunscreens, those that contain zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, those that reflect the sun, as opposed to the ones that are chemical sunscreens that absorb the ultraviolet rays, those performed worse than the chemical sunscreens. Dr. Finsky's advice, still use plenty of sunscreen. Just know with this new information how to use it differently and make sure that it's working for you. The best way to hedge your bed is just use, you want to have at least an SPF 30. So my recommendation, if you're going to be in water, is that you get one that's an SPF 40 or 50. Some other good advice that Dr. Finsky gave me is know that your sunscreens, they expire after three years. And also know that if you've left them in your car in the hot sun, they don't work as well. Stay safe, Tampa Bay. Candace McCowan, News Channel 8.